man. Yeah. This is adorable. Yeah. I know, I love it. And uh, very well-spoken guy there, very uh, confident about his bocce play. All right, Abel Lish here with the credit out of the Wasatch Mountains. Beautiful shot uh, as we uh, start to see the green turn to brown. And these grasses up at the higher elevations are gonna go to seed and eventually dormant. But look at that, you gotta love it, folks. You got that sunshine dancing off the granite up the cottonwoods. Thanks for sending that in, Abel. Hey, how about the rainfall, though, for this month? We've made up a huge deficit. For the month of August alone, Valley of the Gods in San Juan County, way southeast Utah, 7.52 in the rain bucket. Tons of water. Henry Mountains, 5.9, five inches and three quarters for Blanding. Penguich with a ton of rain, 4.7 for Loa, even Alta up in northern Utah. The mountain's picking up quite a bit of water. Southeast Moab saw 4.31 inches of water. It led to three different flash floods so far this season. How does that rank compared to normal for the month? Well, Blanding Yudabit did about four times what you expect. 3X in Loa and Southeast Moab doing 431% of normal. High pressure is now trapping most of that monsoon to the south and east. A little low pressure system swings to the north tomorrow. Today, quiet. Sunshine, beautiful 80s. We keep the 80s tomorrow. This shallow cool front is dry, so we're not going to see anything in the way of clouds nor rain. Today is a beautiful one through central Utah, a little bit warmer than yesterday by about two, three to four degrees. 91 in Hanksville, 99 in St. George. To the north, we've got a beautiful one as well. Vernal 84, mid and upper 80s across the Wasatch Front. Blue skies, but still a little bit of haze courtesy of that fire, the Bolter Fire, out in Tooele County. Okay, 99 to 98, we do not move much, St. George. Look at that, almost copy and paste for the next seven. Labor Day looks good, 99. Wasatch Front, 87 to 86, you slide to 84. Bumping back up in time for your Labor Day weekend plans, kind of the last big boating weekend. You've got more clouds on Monday than you do on Saturday. So if you wanna get outdoors, uh, maybe on Saturday. All right, Matt, thank you.